What is going on guys? It's Fatal Reaper today bringing you guys another video. We're on the HP Pavilion gaming laptop in this video. We are playing GTA 5 once again. I've not done a revised, I've done a revised test on a lot of the other games that I've tested on this HP Pavilion gaming laptop. Uh, uh, description below, I've got the link for the laptop if you guys want to check it out. I got all the hardware that I have in this build. I do have 16 gigs of RAM. And these are the settings that I'm using. We are using very high and a few ultra settings, actually. And we are on GTA Online, which would, uh, it's a lot more, uh, I guess you would say stressful on the system to run online than it would be. Uh, story mode, story mode, you'd probably get more FPS and stuff like that. It's a lot easier to run. So we're going to do the online here. Now, I've done this exact test before. I'm going to have it pop up here on the right screen. Uh, and you can go check that out. That was the original video. The original video, however, I only uh, I only had him on about medium settings, so to speak, and I did only have eight gig eight gigabytes of RAM at that time. I've never done an actual revised test. I've done a revised test on uh, Warzone and a lot of other games on the Pavilion here, but I've never done uh, a revised test on GTA. The first video did so well, I really never saw a point to do a revised test on it until now. And I wanted to kind of, because I got a lot of people saying, oh, hey, does GTA 5 still work good, etc., stuff like that. Um, actually, I was actually blown away when I jumped on GTA 5. I hadn't played it. I had not played GTA 5 in probably about at least half a year, if not longer, on the Pavilion. So when I jumped on it and it actually played as smooth as it does with these higher settings. Again, take in mind, I do have higher settings run now. I got very high on most stuff and ultra on a few settings. Um, I'll show those here uh, towards the end of the video too as well if you guys want to check those out. I kind of go slow so you can see some of the settings. Um, that being said though guys, it played so smooth. Um, now we dip down to the 50s sometimes in FPS. As far as FPS goes, I got anywhere from the 55, I would say 50, 55 to 70, 75 ish range. But it just, it, and just uh, you know, for the FPS out of the way for a second, it just it just played so smoothly. I was shocked of how much smooth it still was. Because, I mean, you know, with the laptop aging, you know, when laptops, gaming laptops in particular, and hardware in general for PCs, eventually, you know, they will start to not be able to run certain games and stuff like that. Or you may run into issues with, you know, certain games, stuff like that. But it just, once again, did not miss a lick with the, uh, uh, you know, GTA 5 here. No issues playing whatsoever. Um, played completely smoothly. I played for about 30 minutes to uh, to an hour, just kind of driving around, playing like I used to do. I used to come to the airport here, and we would drive around and stuff like that. Um, so it was fun to jump back on GTA, though. It was also fun to do a test for the pavilion here. And again, guys, no issues. Again, to take in mind, I have 16 gigs of RAM in this build. If you want the 16 gigs of RAM, I do have the link down in the description below for the extra RAM you can get. This is the RAM stick that I used. Do make sure you have the same laptop before buying that stick of RAM. Um, you know, if you get the wrong stick of RAM, I, I can't help you there. Um, just make sure you do have the same laptop, the HP Pavilion gaming laptop that I'm using. That stick of RAM will work for this build. Again, make sure you, you have the same laptop. Um, that being said, though, once you have the 16 gigs of RAM, it does definitely help the system overall run better. And again, like I'm like here, I'm getting to the 70, 75 ish range of FPS. Smooth gameplay, very high settings, ultra in some on some settings. And again, best uh, you know the the main important part is we're getting smooth gameplay with no interruptions and no issues like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, be sure to like and subscribe. As always, comment down below if you want to see different videos, different games, anything like that, or any questions, anything like that. Anything like that, I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.